Hey guys, how are you going? It's your main man, Yasin. And today, I want to tell you a little story about a friend of mine. And hopefully, this will help you to stop thinking in a negative way, which is damaging your effectiveness as a man, damaging your effectiveness with women, and causing you a lot of pain. If you like the sound of that, then stay tuned. So, I have a friend of mine, he called me the other day, and he was saying, Hey man, look, a lot of these girls on online dating and in person, they're rejecting me constantly. And this guy is an attractive guy, he's, he's wealthy, he's got his shit together. But his ego is so invested into finding beautiful women that don't reject him, that every time a girl rejects him, his ego becomes bu- bruised. And he said to me, hey man, look, these girls are rejecting me and I feel so lonely because these girls are rejecting me and I don't have, I just want someone to sleep with at night. And, and if, if I have this girl, if I have a beautiful woman by my side who's supportive and caring, if I have her, my life will be great. Right now I'm sad, I'm miserable, I'm lonely, I'm, I just, I feel really frustrated. And I know that as soon as I get the girl, that's going to change. And maybe this is something similar to what you've thought in the past or currently think, right? But let me just tell you right now, that it's all fucking bullshit. I hate to say it, but it really is. The girl is not going to save you. The relationship is not going to save you. You have to save yourself. Ultimately, no one is coming to save you, and no one or no thing is going to make your life good, is going to make you happy. This idea that you're going to be fulfilled by someone else, some external thing or person, it's a misconception. It never will work. It's like chasing your tail, right? And so many people think it. They think it about money. When I get the money, I'll be happy. When I get the career, I'll be happy. When I get the girl, I'll be happy. Or the place, or the car. And on and on and on and on and on it goes. This will never fulfill you, right? You have to work on yourself right now. You have to start becoming happier in the present moment with what you have right now. Because ultimately, if you're constantly looking forward and saying, at this point, I will have happiness, success, freedom, joy, then you will forever move the goalpost and you will never be happy. You only get one life, you only get one chance. So start being happy now. If you feel lonely because you don't have a woman, you need to work on that right now within yourself. Because as soon as you get a girl, you're going to start acting weak. If you get a girl whilst in this mentality, whilst thinking like this, you're going to act weak. You're going to be needy, desperate, jealous, and you're ultimately going to lose the girl anyway. Women find men who are on their purpose, who are completely content and happy alone, attractive. They don't find needy, desperate, weak, meek, spineless men attractive. You know that deep down inside your heart. So stop hoping that you can find a beautiful, high-quality woman as you are. Realize that in order to find someone attractive and high-quality, you too have to become attractive and high-quality, and you have to become completely happy with being alone forever if that's what it takes right and as soon as you are happy alone you will find other people who are also happy being alone and you come together and you both make each other's lives better you both rise up together and that's what a relationship is about it's not about fulfilling both of your neuroses it's not about both being weak together and being needy together and desperate and spineless together Okay, so work on your neuroses first, work on your inner game, sort out the shit that's inside of you so that you don't need a relationship, but instead you get to a point where a relationship is just the icing on an already amazing cake. When you get to this point, you'll enter into a relationship and you won't require more than you should from the relationship. You won't become dependent on the relationship in order to fulfill your needs for happiness, contentment, purpose, these things. If you go into a relationship feeling incomplete, then you will require too much from the relationship. You will ask too much of it. You will put too much strain on it and it will eventually destroy the relationship. You will have far too many arguments. You will become far too jealous, far too needy. And these things lead to misery. So what you're trying to avoid, the unhappiness, the loneliness that you're trying to avoid, will eventually come and greet you once again because you have yet to change. And this is a fundamental law of the universe, right? We cannot hope for a different environment until we change our psychology, right? If we stay the same internally, our environment will continue to regress to the norm. It will continue to come back down to us, right? This happens with money. People who win the lottery have a windfall of a huge amount of money, and then within years, it's all gone. Why? 
because their mental game hadn't changed and so they viewed money in the same way that they viewed it before they won the lottery. Same with an amazing job, same with a beautiful girl. Unless we change the internal, we will continue to fall back to where we were previously. So change the internal or you're going to just be met by a huge amount of pain. And that's all I have to say on this. In summary, stop thinking that a relationship is going to save you, that it's going to give you everything you could possibly want. A relationship is not that. Don't ask that of one single person. Become a grounded, centered man who is living his purpose, who has many, many things in his life, many hobbies, many friends, a big social circle, all of these things, a complete, full life, and then you get the relationship, and then you'll feel even fucking better. So be patient, go through this feeling of loneliness, go through this feeling of pain. Just because you have a feeling that feels negative doesn't mean you should run from it. Our emotions tell us things and they teach us things. So use those emotions and use them to guide you. Be patient and eventually I promise you you'll get there. Until next time, stay cool. If you've liked this video, please like and subscribe, comment below, tell me how you're going to become more centered and grounded and comfortable with yourself and being alone and I'll talk to you soon.